Assalamualaikum and hi everyone In today's video is very easy So what you're going to do is just copy all the notes into your books So we're going to choose the appropriate measure of central tendency So we have mean, mode, median, either one of them To describe the distribution of each of set of data And then we're going to explain our answer Alright, the first question is about the number of cups of coffee sold daily at a shop we have 108, 97, 115, 102, 107, 99, 110, 105, 107, and 112. If you look at the data, the, the data is quite close to each other. So that means the mean will be the best that we can use to represent this data. So the translation for the Malay words will be mean is the most suitable measure to use uh, to represent the distribution of the data the calculation of the mean covers all the data in the, in that particular set so mean will be the one that will represent the data accurately all right the second question we have the mass of each papaya in a basket so we have 450 410 395 413 437 445 809 okay this 809 is the extreme value because it's so large com in comparison to the rest of the data and the last value we have 428 because of this particular value we cannot use mean anymore because the mean will drag the numbers uh, and then becomes like it's not accurate to represent the data anymore so because of this particular value the extreme value it could be either too small or too high in this case we have a very high number so the translation for the money will be uh, this set of data include one extreme value which is one uh, sorry 809 gram so the mean will so uh, we, the, the, the mean will cover that value so the mean is not suitable to represent the data so we then so median will be better to use um, to be used in order to represent uh, the best measure of central tendency to describe distribution so we're going to use the median all right the c part we have the type of transport used by the students of a school we have bus 287 car 109 and bicycle 78 all right because in this data we don't have any like uh, values in comparison to a and b so we just only have how many students using a bus car or bicycle and this is a category category like we have all, all the three categories so the best way to represent so the Malay translation will be uh, this set of data includes uh, three category and the the most uh, popular category will be known uh, with it's either bus car or bicycle so that means the mode will be the best uh, to represent Represent the distribution of the data. Alright, that's it for that's it for today, and good luck.